Okay, we just finished with the words Mopar Performance, and I'm going to, uh, I had that uncollapsed, and I'm going to collapse that layer and lock it, because I want you to be sure to make sure you lock up everything that's inside of those layers, except for the one you're working on. Now let's click to the Your Layer layer. Make sure we click up there, go get the V key, and click our lettering guide over here, and bring this over to here, and we'll have the Viper lettering go in like this. Of course, it's going to come in huge, just like it was over in the original. Hit the E key for bounding box. Uh, I'm sorry, hit the E key for transform tool, and let's hold the shift key and make the V-I-P-E-R-G-T-S-R kind of in the area it needs to be. I'll marquee that area so it gets close on screen. And now we have to split this up between two of them. We'll do the GTSR first. So let's um, hold the command key so that we actually turn the visibility of the layer back onto wireframe. And now there's many ways to actually grab this. What I'm going to do is take the direct selection tool. Remember that lets you click into a group. Okay, and I'm just going to marquee the V, I, P, E, R and make sure I grab all of this. Then I'm going to hit Command 2. Now I could have gone into here and locked up all the elements for this group. If you can see where I'm circling here, it is actually broken into a group and then the path, 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 path over here is really the GTSR. So what I could do, rather than going Command 2 and locking everything up on the file again, which um, I'm sorry, then having to go unlock everything, I'm going to, when I need to get to it, I'm going to click to the uh, lock up this group. Now, I'm going to click the circle and the circle and the circle and the circle for this area here. I don't really have to group them. I could and it would make life easier, but I'm going to, um, perhaps if I had to go back in it would make life easier, but I'm just going to hit the E key and I have the bounding box I so need. So let me bring that down to here and just squish it until, whoops, I'm sorry, I grabbed it too close. Squish it until it's kind of close to the size and then let's get close and do this one. We turn it until we can fit the R into the bottom, a little bit more on the turn and then bring the whole thing down just a list a bit. Now let's, uh, without holding any key down, let's scale it out just like this. And now you probably know what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab the center icon, click, hold the command key, and fold that into position. And it should be real close. If I grab the um, this one over here in the middle, and I just scale it out like this, now I only have to grab... Um, really I could do each individual corner and it would work perfect. If I grabbed this corner on the bottom right, held the command key and just bent that down just a little bit, and then grabbed this one on the bottom right, held the command key and folded that in, or moved it in, you'd see now I have the GTSR. Perfect. Look over here in the layer palette. Um, I really want to get to the other one now, so let me go like this. Plenty of ways to select it. It's up here. Do you see it? I could just lock up I should just group these. I don't care if you do or don't. I am going to group these right there because that's really the one that I had. If you see what I'm toggling on and off, I'm going to lock that one up and then go in and unlock this one. Click to this one, which is the VIPER, or I could have taken the direct select tool and marqueed this. Hit the E key and let's do the same exact thing I just did. First we'll squish it, we'll shrink it, put it where it's supposed to go, more or less. Hold, remember you got to be in the transform tool, which is the E key. Turn it. Just line up the bottom of the R here, right here. Notice it's the bottom right of the letter, as I said it when I did stratus. And let's just make this go to the bottom as well. So let's restretch it out so the bottoms match up real nice. Okay, grab the top, hold the command key, and just bend the R into place. And then it's just a matter of fine tuning each edge. So I grab this corner upper left, click, hold command key, and just bend it in a little bit. Grab the bottom left, click, hold the command key, and just bend that in a little bit. And now a little bit more on the bottom right, click, hold the command key, and bend that in. And now we have that one done beautifully. And of course, if I was really finished with this, I would lock this up, save the file, and go on to the next one. The next one that we will do um, I'm going to do the 52 right next to it on the side. So, stay tuned.